Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, check this out, you guys. I am so pumped. I have not one, but two Garbage Pail Kids Original Series 4 boxes for you. Now, I have uh, one set that looks like it has the White Cloud wrapper variant, and check this out, guys. Kaboom. We have not only the box, an original poster. So these posters came with the boxes, and distributors and sellers would hang these up in the stores. Um, check that out. 1986 Tops Chewing Gum. Stickers, bubble gum available here. Garbage Pail Kids. So this is a Series 4. This is a giant poster of Atom Bomb sitting there. The iconic artwork of Garbage Pail Kids. Now, you guys know that um, there he is right there. So you guys know that I love Garbage Pail Kids. Um, I hope you guys are okay with a series of videos coming up where I'm just going to be ripping up a bunch of Garbage Pail Kids, and particularly S Series 4. Now, uh, um, I haven't done much Series 2. I just did a, a, a one Series 2 opening, uh, one pack opening a couple videos back. Um, I've already done a Series 3 box rip. Now, Series 4 is kind of where I'm going to stop, I think, with Garbage Pail Kids as far as collecting. Um, series 4, one of my favorites. Series 3 it has one of my most favorite uh, characters. But um, yeah, so check these packs out, guys. Really cool. Noticeable is the White Cloud versus the Purple Cloud. I'm actually kind of curious to see if there's any um, differences in the uh, serial numbers on these inside. My my boy, Mr. Hollis, at a Holl another Hollis build, um, uh, has been talking to me about finding out more information looking at those co code cards so or the codes inside the pack so let's check out let's check this out now something fun about this is uh that card right there so you got the gum stick there um let's see if we can find it interesting about this set several cards got uh name changes so we got zero four nine one two one zero so i'm not exactly sure what that means but i'm just gonna see if that's any different now uh what i'm gonna look for is a checklist in here because the first print runs of series four, uh, they had to change the names of some of the uh, characters uh, due to copyright violations and cease and desist orders that Topps got. Um, and that sort of controversy skyrocketed the popularity of these cards, absolutely for sure. And, and that has happened in a couple of their sets. So I'm gonna be looking for the checklists um, and I'll explain to you some of that. So let's see, that is the same number so it looks like it's probably the same print run, but for some reason I have half the packs with the purple cloud, half the packs with the white cloud. Um, we'll we'll tear into these and see if I can find a checklist. So there's a couple things like when uh, uh, a name brand it's it, it's it's is infringed on, they got sued. Also the names of famous people. So you can see on the front card, there's always the wax stain. Uh, and we got Hollywood here. So the other one for the the the, the number 125B card is um, uh, is is one of the ones that they had to change the name, and that's Woody Allen. Oh, this is a checklist. Perfect. So you can see there, there's Hollywood. Woody Allen is obviously the name of a of somebody. That's really cool. So this is one of the earlier print runs. Uh, so Woody Allen's name had to get changed because of you know obviously it's the namesake of somebody in Hollywood, uh, a celebrity. Also, Crystal Gale. There you go. So Crystal Gale is the name of a singer. They didn't want her name in there. And there's a couple others that I'll have to look for. But this is letting me know that this is one of the early print runs because they had to change these. Um, they had to change the names, like I said, on some of these. So so it looks like I got early name, early print run uh, before, they, before they got uh, sued, I guess, and changed the names on some of these. So, got the puzzle back on there. There's Rutherford. <laughs> That's a little shortened. <laughs> Sean. Got the lazy. So, I'm going to go just through a couple of these packs. I just wanted to. There's Bruce Moose <laughs> and uh, Amazing Grace, which is just creepy. So, you get the gum stain card, you get the wax card. I can work with the wax cards. I'll explain that to you in a couple subsequent videos coming up. So, just stay ready for that. But yeah, you guys, you know I love Pokemon cards. You know I love baseball. You, lo you know I love the sports cards, but I also love Garbage Pail Kids. Look at this Diane Dina. Could you imagine the controversy this, this had back then? You know, uh, a, a little girl strapped to a bomb coming down to explode to their death. I mean, you can tell how these got really controversial fast. 
Oh, check out. And there's the puzzle back on that. Check out this Deadly Dudley. That's the B card. Uh, the A card is a really cool one um, that I hope to hit as well. Uh, hygiene and Kitty Litter. So none of these, um, I don't think, are checklist cards. So still hunting for the checklist in this purple. So we will uh, open up a few more packs. I'm not going to do all the box. I'm not going to do all the packs in this video, you guys. But I want you to stay along. Um, I want you guys to get pumped about Garbage Pail Kids. I think they're 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 super super collectible. Um, I think if you look at prices of Series 1, they're through the roof, total gold. If you look at uh, Series 2, it's already there. So I made some moves on Series 3 already, um, but Series 4 would be the next next in line, still 1986. So again, um, really, really interesting, really cool cards. Uh, yes, I do plan, I know I'm a broken record, I do plan on doing some, look how beautiful these packs are. So some of these packs I'll probably get graded. Um, but also, uh, I'm planning on sending the cards I think are the most centered, best looking. Uh, also sending them PSA to get a bunch of GPK cards graded up. Uh, because I think cards look beautiful in a PSA slab. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like an investment thing. I mean, I'm not looking to turn these. I, I do kind of just want to have a nice collection of them. So, And we'll see. Like, I'm in it for the long, long term, right? I, I want to see, you know, in the next 20 years what happens to these cards, basically. So look at this dry guy. <laughs> Definitely feeling that. I saw Mr. Hollis uh, had that card in his Instagram post. That's funny. Ventriloquist, uh, because it's been hot in California, and we're both in California. Oh, here's Incomplete Pete. Okay, so the A card. Ooh, Decapitated Heidi. Loving that. So the A card of Incomplete Pete is uh, Reese's Pieces, and that's the name of a famous uh, candy. And so they got sued and had to change the name of Reese's Pieces. So we'll see if we can find that. And then here's the de 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 Decapitated Kitty looking for... Yeah, so that so some of the name changes are pretty cool. So it's kind of fun to get some boxes. Um, I, I, I bought in on a break at GPK Forever, which is a really cool YouTube channel. There's Reese's Pieces right there. So... Um, I know I know that in this first box with the white clouds, it should be there. Still trying to find the checklist out of this second box. But uh, I, I, I uh, um, bought in on a break on GPK Forever. He's a YouTube channel who I've talked about before um, and did a Series 4 rip. Those packs definitely were uh, the name changed pack, so a later printing run because I saw the checklist on a card that I got and they had changed the name. So it's Greta Garbage. You gotta love this. I love New York. What a burn. <laughs> Total burn, right? Um, so that I so I know I have a couple cards from that when you know they had changed the name on some of those. So Crystal Gale got changed to Igloo. So um, kind of kind of interesting there. Here's a Distorton Morton. Very quite interesting there. Oh, here's one, you guys. So Salvador Dali. Uh, is the name of a famous artist and so the namesake there got in trouble so they had to change the name of that guy so I think that's one of the ones they had to change oh cool check this out so for sure the card that I want to chase is that guy uh, who's the box who's the puzzle and that's uh, Boney Tony and Unzip Zack so those are going to be there's Gord Gordon nice so those are going to be some of the ones I'm going to be looking for in this box in these boxes is uh, the last time I checked like a PSA 10 Boney Tony, um, you know, several hundred dollars in, in really in a high grade. So for me, that's that's definitely one of the ones I'm going to be chasing among others. There's actually a lot of cool ones in Series Four that I really like, like uh, Alien Ian is another one. Just the artwork is fantastic. So here's another Diane Dina, uh, and uh, like I mentioned, I'm I'm not going to get through the whole box in this video, you guys. But stay tuned. I'm going to do a bunch of ripping of of these packs, um, and I'll just kind of go through and. And, and explain to you my thought process on going through boxes like this and, and, and cards like this. Um, they are definitely vintage, so you're looking at 1986 product here. Um, definitely dating me. Um, you know, I, well, you know, I remember them as a kid. So here's Caddy Cathy and Rudy Toot. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, so these crack me up, you guys. I'm sorry. I know that, um, you know, I actually did show them to my son. Ooh, there's one that I like right there. Oh, and it's the it's the B card, so Outer Space Chase. So there's an Alien Ian that is just, I just love the Alien Ian card. Ooh, ouch. All right. Did you see that gum just ripped off? So some of these packs, so there's a checklist. Yay. All right. 
So I got a checklist here. I got a checklist now from both boxes, and let's see. All right, the checklists are the same. Okay, so yeah, Woody Allen is 125B card on both checklists. Crystal Gale is there. Reese's Pieces is there. Okay, so so I have the same I have the same print run, you guys. I, I guess I don't really understand why then the the pack art or the pack art is different. Uh, why there's uh, white clouds and purple clouds. I thought that might distinguish print runs, but I guess not. So, man, I got two. Oh, here, check this out. So this is Melton Elton. So this is the A card. The B card is Crystal Gale that I'll find, I guess, in these in this box too. This got changed to Igloo. I love the blue on that. It's one of my favorite cards um, for sure. So there's Foxy Francis. So the gum card, nothing you can, nothing you can really do about that. I'll probably just sell all the gum cards as a lot, like on eBay or something. You know, you know, people just want to collect them but aren't interested in the condition. Uh, the gum cards are, are good for that because uh, the gum card, um, the gum card get, can get you know really nasty and um, not much you can do with it. The wax stain card, I can, I, I can actually work with that, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that here shortly, uh, either in this video or in the next. So. Let's open another one of these packs. I'm also going to be thinking about which packs just look the best, the least amount of folds, um, no stains. Those are the ones I'm, I'll, I'll be considering for whole pack grading. Um, and that's something that I'm, I'm interested in doing with some of these packs as well. Okay, so some of the, so that gum come, so the gum out of this pack comes off really nice. It still stains the card though, unfortunately. So that's Ventriloquist. Nice one there, puzzle back. It's Incomplete Pete again. So again, the A card there is the uh, Reese's Pieces card. We got Decapitated Heidi. Oh, check this out. Rock E Horror <laughs> and Hip Kip. Look at this guy. He's got his coffee. Oh my God. So Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, definitely remember that. So that's kind of like an ode to that. Um, look at this. Chain Smoker Back. I mean, that's just a cool card. That's going to look great in a slab. Do another pack here. Uh, appreciate. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I know Garbage Pail Kids is not for everyone. I assume this video will not get as many views as some of my other videos, but that's okay, you guys. Uh, I am I am a fanboy of GPK. Uh, look at this, Barf and Bart. That's disgusting. Like, seriously disgusting. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, there we go, you guys. Boom! Check that out. That is Boney Tony. That is the puzzle you're trying to complete on the puzzle back of all the cards in this set. Therefore... One of the most iconic cards of the set, Boney Tony. Like I mentioned before, this thing, graded up PSA 10, is worth quite a bit of money. And I would imagine will only go up in value over time. So the uh, Boney Tony is the, uh, there's the unzip Zack uh, and then the Boney Tony. And those are the differences between the A and B card. There I just, here I'm just snipping off the, uh, making sure I snip off the corner of my sleeve so I don't damage the corners. But look at this guy, it is beautiful. Uh, I think it might be within the limits of PSA for a 10, but you just never know. Um, but it's definitely going to go. Um, all the ones I pull are going to go, uh, for sure, of Boney Tony. So, very, very excited about that. Check out this Jack-O-Lantern. Loving that. It is October. It's Halloween season. What a great pull right there. Uh, I love it. So, 1986 goodness right here. Jack-O-Lantern. Uh, you see that little, uh... You see that little black spot on the back of this card? Now here's a trick that I do not recommend you do <laughs> unless you have, unless you, you know, I take a pencil that has a white eraser, not a yellow or orange eraser, just a white eraser um, but that's, that I know is not going to leave any marks and I'll sometimes be successful uh, using that to remove some blemishes from cards. Now I'm not saying this is something that you should do. I don't know if it is, it, it's a good thing or not, but it's definitely something that I've tried. And, uh, you know, just one little thing that I've done to try to make sure the cards are going to be as perfect as, as I can possibly have them when they get sent off to the graders. Because, you know, it's going to take just any little thing wrong with a card to drop it down in grade. So I spent just like a few seconds off camera, and you can kind of see that blemish is now gone. Um, so, you know, that is just, that is my little trick, but uh, I don't want anyone to think that that's something you should do all the time because I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> you can leave me in the comments below whether or not that was a good idea. 
But it it is visually visually removed. You look at the card face value, you don't see the blemish anymore. So anyway, um, always trying to make sure we get the best grade. Now you know, obviously, I want high grades on all my cards, but since I'm just sort of collecting at this moment, I'm not too worried about it. I'll be happy with nines. I'll be happy with eights, honestly. Um, GPK cards are, you know, they're getting, it's getting harder to get these. So I kind of feel like there'll be, there'll be value, especially the next, you know, 10, 20 years from now. And, and that's, that's my game. That's my long game now. Um, that might not be for all, but hey, that's what I'm up to. So stay tuned for more ripping of GPK cards, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.